Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here, and wanted to show you guys my uh, cool little hat. Ugh. Nah, I think the uh, patches added on. This is actually a 511 cap. But this is not the big announcement that you are here for. The truth is, you got my official looking book, Principality of Zeon. And the big announcement I have for you guys is that coming up April 14th to April 18th, Myself, the CEO of the Iron Tigers Okinawa Detachment, and another tiger living up in Tokyo will all be getting together in Tokyo to do a few airsoft games. So we're looking at the, um, was it the 16th? Yeah, so like the 16th, I believe, we'll be playing at a field called Valhalla, which is up in mainland somewhere. I don't have the exact map and everything going, but it's up in mainland, and we'll be playing on the 16th at Valhalla, and then there's another field called the Tokyo Survival Game Park, which, again, Tokyo, but that one's going to be on Sunday, which should be the 17th, if I'm not mistaken. So, we'll be up there, we'll be arriving at Tokyo on the 14th, we'll probably hang out and talk with some people and do some things until the game day starts. So, that's the plan we're looking at, but I really want to uh, show you, this hat's pretty cool though, isn't it? It's uh, it was, it was a Redbeard was always wearing a hat with a Velcro patch. He had his own uh, custom kill tag made for it. And actually, I mean, this is pretty cool, but the patch, as you can tell, the Velcro is made to be uh, square. The 511 the patch is not very square. So, I don't know, I ordered an American flag one for it too, so I could wear that. And also, unfortunately, as you can see, 511 and everything, but what makes me kind of sad, unfortunately, is made in China, so. Not America. Unfortunate, but hey, what are you gonna do? But yeah, well, we're in Tokyo. I mean, the patch isn't the most fitting, but I will likely be wearing this patch, possibly in a variety of angles, so I don't know, it'll make me a bit easier to identify, but should be fun. So we'll be going around, we'll be doing some games, we'll be shooting some people. I've got cameras, ordered a new camera. Another thing I want to show you guys, pretty cool, is I got the uh, Contour Rome. So, the big thing, well, this one, this one actually has locks on the buttons and stuff, but it's blue, so I'm probably gonna do put some electrical tape over that to uh, address that issue. But you unclick this, and the battery is built in, and when this is closed, it's waterproof. I finally found out how to format the cards, which was mostly of late neglect on my part, but I could format the memory cards. I put larger memory cards in my Contour HD. Well, not the Contour HD, is still the same, but the uh, Contour GPS actually has a new memory card in it, so it actually will work a lot better with the uh, It'll go until the battery dies instead of until the memory card dies, so that's a big plus. So, we should be able to get plenty of footage from these games we play. Well, I'll probably be burnt out by the time my, my batteries are all dead, so... Fortunately, the ROM 2 and the uh, GPS are both 60 frames per second, so we'll have superior video quality going there. And the one that actually can, I can swap out the batteries on... 30 frames per second, but still looking pretty good, yeah, maybe? So there's that, and um, additionally, something I ordered several months ago that recently came in that I've been wanting to show you guys. Super headphones! And they glow. So, I don't know, I think they're pretty cool. They work pretty well, but they do smell, uh, they smell rather chemically, in my opinion. Oh, they're actually, they're kind of comfortable with the hat, without the hat on. I've noticed things on my hair will just slip around and stuff, so... Yeah, as you can tell, they sit pretty nicely there. Take the hat off for a second. Put them on normally, however, and they slide around really easily on my hair. So, I think it's more of a hair problem. But the solution, I have the same problem with my helmet. So it's apparently not just the uh, helmet and stuff. But what I didn't notice that I can do is I grab this real quick. I lost my general skull cap, but I did order this one. And this one will actually keep my hair and stuff out of the way. It's like a swimming cap for helmets. But this will actually keep hair out of the way because it's all silky smooth and amazing to touch. So that keeps that under control and I can uh, make everything work with that. So that's what I'm going to be wearing with my general uh, Protec helmet. And it's going to be a good time. Speaking of helmets, when I ordered this Rome 2 camera, it came with a piece that I actually busted, which explains where Redbeard got his initially when I got these sword from him. But I now have a new... Uh, mount for the uh, camera so I was mentioning this in, and not in the video per se but in the uh, little subtext in one of the videos is that with the uh, headsets and stuff well, not so much the headsets but the helmet Here, I'll give you guys a quick example grab the helmet the head of it let me turn these on so I can hear myself 
No, no, I sound loud, so I'm probably going to speak quietly. So, with the helmet, I could mount the camera to the side using the attachment, which is now currently removed, and it sticks out to about there. Now the problem is, if I'm popping around a corner, right now you will see a camera. I still don't see you. So you see this nice flashy little lens of a glass coming around, then you start seeing parts of the helmet because the helmet's bigger than your head. Still don't see you. And this is moving around, which is when people see that, and they go, oh, what's going on here? And it's kind of like a jump scare that you don't want. So you're getting ready, you're poking around the corner, you're not thinking about, I never think about the camera, I'm like, Okay, gotta look around this corner, so I slice the pie nice and slow, and instantly pink in the face. Almost every time. Not all the times, occasionally they miss, but they get a good amount of time to set up. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna have to start popping corners far more intensely if I'm gonna get anywhere in life. But with the attachment, which I actually used to have, I can still mount this under my helmet. And now it's, well, it's closer, and though the helmet's about a little bit, it's a little bit farther out than the helmet would, where it will sit. Ciao. So yeah, it sticks out a wee bit, but not nearly as much. What it is going to change is, instead of seeing the gun where you normally would, which would be about, what, no, that's it, it'll be on the left side. So normally you'd see the gun down here. What this is going to change is might get to the older video where I'll be looking up more of a side view of the gun. Which, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool, but this makes it, well, this much less likely that I'll get shot before I even pop around a corner, so I'm cool with that. I like getting shot less makes me happy but I'll probably work on more dynamic popping never did like the turkey peeking though because the speed the difference in speed between let's say a six millimeter BB with safety in mind and an actual bullet traveling at a normal bullet velocity it's dynamically different particularly with rifles with smaller object moving faster so you can't you you're generally not gonna turkey peek a rifle if you try to something bad happens Something really bad, especially the closer the closer of a distance you're anyway. Story for a different time. We're we're getting to more realistic things. You can just blow holes in bunkers and shoot through most of the wood anyway. So topic aside, remove this. But yeah, so I'll have three cameras up in mainland, which will be pretty pretty rad. No! No! Stop that at once. Hold on. Mutiny. Okay, situation under control. Turn these off. Off. There we go. These come off, so. That's the cool stuff I want to show you guys. And for co personal comfort, I'm going to hold this. Uh, we're getting ready to ship off the, uh, I'm gonna be using the MP5 out there, but MP7, it's nice. Ciao. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing. We'll be up there, so feel free to look around for us. You know what fields we'll be at. And uh, if you're there, looking forward to having a uh, great time, getting a bunch of good footage, playing with you guys. Playing airsoft outside of Okinawa is really what it comes down to. I mean. As much as I like playing out here in Okinawa and doing all the cool things I can, Ogimi, or Hive, is presently uh, under construction slash delayed till further notice. And, well, no one really wants to go back to Carol because it's renegade and does whatever it wants, so that really leaves Sergeant 58. Although, I don't know if I particularly want to play at Sergeant 58 every day, forever and ever for the end of time, so hopefully fuels will pick up, but in the meantime it gives us an opportunity to go up to mainland, meet a bunch of new people and play in dynamically different fields that no one has time to memorize and hide in all the cool spots. So it'll be a new experience for us and we're really looking forward to it, so if you're there we will see you soon. So that's all I have for you guys, stay chivalrous everyone, and I will see you next time. Cheers.